Okay, so um, I do want to say that we're doing a little something, a little something different today. Um, I'm in the new place with my cinnamon toast crunch. I have not, I have not done a stream like this in the new place. I have not done one set up like this in the new place. So bear with me. This is going to be a little what? But we're going to do some project time because I said we were going to. I actually need to look at what the vote was because I don't know that there was a vote cast. And I'm like assuming that we're going to work on this. And... Let's see. Ever any votes? No votes. So I'm making the choice. Okay, that's fine. During the week, it's time for this. This is my Hito Fude cardigan. I had somebody asked me, why the paper clips? And I'm like, because I was too lazy to find stitch markers. And they were like, oh, I was like, yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. It's ingenuity. I was like, I had a ton of uh, I had a ton of of um I had a ton of paper clips, but not so many stitch markers with me. So here we are, just making weird choices. Okay, so also bear with me. Um, the I haven't gotten the camera situation fixed just yet and I'm just realizing now that I have to plug in my camera or it's not gonna work <laughs> great this is about to get dicey can you tell that I did not plan this at all because I can like tell me you were not ready in any way without telling me you weren't ready because whose phone's almost dead whose camera's almost dead mine okay let's see how far we can push this oh no okay so we might have to push it this way which is going to make this whole situation dicey, so bear with me. Note to self, I know better than to think that I'm just going to do stuff. Like, I do. I know better. Um, and, I, and not check stuff. And, like, this is, this is where we are right now. Okay. So, this is, this is doable. This is dicey. It's still, like, what what is going on um but we can we can work with this now i do want to do this business don't mind <sighs> don't mind the background let's see um i'm gonna have like something lighter to work on all right so you think i can finally start now <laughs> it's been like almost four minutes yeah i think so okay so bear with me i am starting i had to start my timer that's what that was about so um i haven't streamed not a game in a while and uh it's project time because it's thursday so i wanted to go ahead and do this and actually what we're gonna do we're gonna do something else first we're gonna do something else first i need to i need to share stuff so bear with me sorry i'm not ready i love how i thought i was and then it's like are you like are you bro it's like you know what no no i'm not So, you get to watch me set this up. I mean, you're not watching me set this up, but you're watching me set this up. Stare at my knitting, though. Yeah, do that. <laughs> it's been a long day. 
Um, we're doing this special event at work. I'm trying to think of the uh, most clandestine, however, but also um, low key way. Because you know. You know, we don't really talk about work over here. What is this? Ooh. Okay. Can you tell that I am so not ready? So not ready. And, um, you know, it's okay. It's okay. This is a learning experience. I should have drafted this. should have prepared this part earlier and I didn't. I also just got, um, let's see, so I'm not going to put this, I am going to put this up, but I'm not going to put this up, but I am going to put this up. So what is going to happen is I am... I'm posting the video, not the video, Jesus. I'm posting the, um, I'm going to brain today. I really, I really am. I really am. Mm, there we go. That's what we need. I'm going to post. this first. And let's see, do I have any more pictures? I feel like I've got to, I've got to have a picture of this. It's up to date. And you know what? This will work. I can't believe like how not together <laughs> I am. Just wow. Just wow though. You know. Like you're getting you're getting to see behind the scenes. This is this is this is fucking awful. Like what are you doing? I'm like, you know what? I gotta tell you, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Mm, let's see. This needs to be a heading. My jaw hurts, so I don't know how much talking I'm actually going to be doing. So my paper. Let's talk about this paper since I've, I've got to format all this crap. So I was supposed to turn in the paper four days ago. I did. I turned it in. Um, I started working on it nine days ago. Mm -hmm. While I was at work, in between tasks, um, and so yeah, I got a, I got a good chunk. I got a I got a nice good chunk done. Now 
I try to edit as I go, right? So like after I feel like I'm done with a paragraph, I'm going to go back and kind of look it over, blah, 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 right? Cool. Well, uh, I don't really know what happens, but let me tell you this. My brain turned into soup and I tried to read this paper and I got to tell you, I could not make sense of it. I know what the paper was supposed to be about. I know what I chose to write about. But just making sense of it? No. So I'm like, okay, well maybe I've just I've just read this paper too many times and that's what it is. I've just read it too many times. And so, you know, um that's that's what the problem is. No, mm mm. No. It it was it was trash, honestly. So I said, friend, can you do me a favor? I know you just got off work. I know you're tired. If you're not up to it, that's cool. Because, you know, let's not lean on people too hard. Right? Um, sounds great. Sounds, you know, fantastic. Let's, let's not. Let's, let's not even say we did. Let's just not. I'm also thinking about the fact that I, 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 I mentioned at work today, I was like, I do a lot of other stuff. Never mind what that is. <laughs> I'm just thinking, man. And of course, the, the comment around that time was, oh yeah, there's plenty of people who, because of social media, have lost their jobs. And I'm like, you know, that's why I'm not friends with anybody I work with. Like, I even have people that I like Right, that I am in fact friends with, but you can see stuff through other people's stuff. So, if I work with you, nah, dude, I'm, I'm so good. <laughs> I'm so good. I do not. We do not. Mm -mm. We don't need to. We don't need to know each other like that. I even told uh, the two people I was working with today because I was working with two particular people. One who's in my department and one who's in a, in a department adjacent to mine, like we kind of work together, but not together together. I was like, oh yeah, no, if you see me out in the wild, you didn't see me. I don't know you. And the one from my department is like, oh, what? You wouldn't do that to me. And I'm like, oh no, that's my rule with everybody. Like, I don't know you. Like, I'm not trying to know you like that. And that's just, it's not them specifically. It's just, you know, every time, and I didn't get into this, I tried to, but I didn't get into it. Every time I try to be cool with someone, I find out, oh, no. Uh-uh. It's not. Mm -mm, it's not like that. Um, and so, uh, yeah. Let's, let's not. Okay. So, now I'm almost done setting this up. I can't believe this is taking me 13 minutes. <laughs> I don't know how extended this project time is going to be, frankly, because I'm freaking tired. Okay. I'm super tired. Okay. Experiments and getting back on track. All right. That's the name of this video. Oh, it's like, what am I looking at right now? It's like, not what... <sighs> wow. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it is midnight, so it's kind of a purpose. A purpose that I'm knitting tonight. Ugh. My specialty dentist wants me to go to physical therapy, and honestly, um, no, no thank you, was my answer. <laughs> to which I'm sure they were like, wait a minute, why? And my answer is going to continue to be, I'm past that. Now, they don't think so, but I, I know that we're already past this. Okay, I know this is a thing. Alright, and let's do this. Uh, 
Okay, so now we're gonna add tags because, and then we can, you know, do the thing, do the posting and the things. I'm the worst, I know, I'm so sorry. You know, though, you can tell that I'm not, oh, mm. but I'm not like ready, like I'm not prepared. I got one more thing I need and I got to fig it's figuring out the hashtag that I'm using for this project. And you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing. God, so those are my posts. I think it's not going to be in here. I think um, there's a project. Oh, there we go. Project hashtags for Instagram. So like those are the, those are the whole thing. Mm. Okay, so that's not what I'm looking for. Is this what I'm looking for? Okay. Okay, so mi hito por mi. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. There we go. Oh jeez, me he for me. Okay, so I am just trying to make sure that I have everything done right. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if that one's on there. <laughs> that that wonderful sound that my um, joints were making. Yeah, my jaw wants to make that sound, but I can't. Mm. So I think we need to edit this and go project name and project. So I need to do that. I think that's it. I think that's it. This is a public post. Oh, jeez. It's like, what are you doing? You can't add this until you do blah, 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 blah. And I was like, what? Silly. Add a title to your post. Duh. Oh wow, let's let's make sure the post is <laughs> I said ten ten Tuesday. It's Thursday. Project time is Thursday, everybody, okay? Get it together, brain. That was that was fin to make no sense. And this is why we had to check and double check shit. Because did you do it right? And the answer is you know, I don't know. Okay, so now <laughs> Finally, I can. Oh my gosh. Wow. I am so sorry. That is so weird, by the way, because I was looking at something on um, Instagram and it decided to suddenly start playing, which was rude, by the way. Okay. So I guess we can we can start the project now finally. So I gotta like get that. This is my project pen. Yay! I got a pretty project pen. I gotta I gotta set of pens and I was like, what am I gonna do with these? And I'm like, you know, I don't know. And I'm like, one's gonna go on my weekly project bag and the other one's gonna go on my weekend project bag. 
problem solved. So we are on an odd row. Yeah, there's some like messed up parts in here, like knots, and you know who's not going to fix them? Me. I am just, we're not doing that. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh my gosh, I hate when this happens. And this is the thing, you gotta be careful about the stitch markers you choose. So they don't snag your project. I should put that as a, another tip in the, in the post because that's a thing and just making sure you choose the right stitch markers because like these stitch markers are meant to be on the needles right so if you try to put it on the uh, stitch you'd have to manually remove because you don't you don't want to do that all right we're on row five so here's the thing with lace is i can't really I can't really do anything else while I'm doing it um, because I have to concentrate so much. I'm looking for, oh, there is a, there's a post-it. So we're going to do this before we forget. I'm gonna forget that stuff and that's the purpose that's the purpose but yeah um the other things you need to keep in mind when you're doing lace which is what we're doing is uh stitch markers are your friend they help you keep track but also lifelines are also your friend i'm living dangerously i don't have one i've also decided that if i jack this lace up it's gonna stay jacked up is what's gonna happen but i'm probably not gonna be doing a lot of talking because it's lace and I have to count a lot. And we're going to have time for, I know from experience, we're going to have time for two rows. And so you're going to get to see what an hour looks like, basically. Um, yeah. Good thing about this this is a pretty short like repeat so like after I've done it a couple times I start to like memorize it for like this row if I can manage to do more rows tonight like I will but I'm just not we're not holding our breath for that because because we're not I might I might get through one, to be honest with you. That might be all we do today. I'm honestly a little stressed out. I have a bunch of reading that I'm behind on. And I should be reading. I should have been reading earlier, but I was doing... You know, I don't know what I was doing. I was doing something. What was it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know I was exper experimenting with chai, so I... Let's do this. We're gonna mute my computer so my computer can't make any rude noises. Um, anyway, I um, was experimenting with chai and in part of this experiment I was also, by the way, um, making the video for Tuesday that I missed and I'm going to put it up like at some point after it's done here oh my gosh 
I've been wanting it to be Thursday all week long. I need it to be, hey, here's your money back. So, okay. Um, I can't go into details because the person I'm talking about might end up watching this. But I got something for someone um, who is quite dear to me. And everything just came in the mail today. And I opened it enough to make sure that nothing was damaged. And I had originally placed an order for this stuff from somewhere else, which I cannot name because you would be able to figure out what it was. And I don't, I, on the off chance that they watch this, I don't want them to figure it out. They'll figure it out when I hand them the stuff. Anyway, so... My stuff was processing, so it's it. And I, I didn't, I didn't order the stuff that long ago. Like it was like in the last few days of September, I think. But it kept saying processing. There was no updates. There was no movement. There was no anything. And I'm just over here like, I have to get this to somebody who I don't get to see often. And so like timing is a thing and I would like to be able to give it to this person the next time I see them because I might not see them for a while because of stuff and things and work anyway so I'm like okay well it said this will be delivered in like September and it was September I was like okay cool so then this should be fulfilled quickly no, friends, no. Not even close. Now, it is the 10th of October, okay? It's the 10th. It is not that far into October. It really, it really isn't, okay? It's not been that long. But if you're telling me that something is going to be delivered by September and October rolls around and you haven't told me anything else, no updates, I'm over here side eyeing you. I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on here? So, when I placed the order, there was a thing about um, back orders because two of the things were supposed to be in stock, or one of the things was in stock, and the other two were in back order, or something like that. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I understand things that are popular or things that, you know, maybe have limited runs. You're going to not have as much, um, you're not going to have as much stock. And so it's going to take, I get it. Okay, fine. No big deal. Um, and if I have to wait a little while to get something I want, I can, I can live with that, right? What I can't live with is having no idea what's going on. And so I go and I'm searching for the back order page again because it, it popped something up and said, hey, look, this is just some information about how we handle this. And I read it when I saw it the first time and I just like completely forgot everything it said. I'm like, well, let me go and see what it says again because maybe there's some information. I didn't find it. I, d I stopped looking, honestly, um, because I found a Reddit thread, <laughs> and the Reddit thread was talking about this particular vendor and how a ton of people over the last, like, couple years have had this problem where they have gone and ordered something from this vendor only to never get it, get it way, 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 way long after they were supposed to get it with no with no um you know updates or information in the interim some people still hadn't gotten their stuff or at least if they had gotten it they never came back and like wrote but just the fact that so many people were having issues was enough i was like you know what I will go somewhere else 
I will pay more, not by a whole lot, but I'll pay, I'd rather pay more and get what I ordered in a timely fashion. You know, and apparently that is exactly what it was and I'm so mad about it. I'm so mad. Soft taco. Um, and the funny thing is I get this, uh, I get a reply. I got to cancel the order. And this is what makes it more skeevy. There's no way to cancel the order. Okay. You got to cancel the order. And it's like, hey, if you would like to cancel this order, you have to email us, cancel order, the order number, and then email us all this information. And I'm like, what? I have to jump through hoops? Oh, that's, that's not a good sign. It's, it's freaking not. So I get like an auto reply of, we're getting a lot of messages and we're going to get back to you as soon as possible. And then I get a human, maybe, I don't know, maybe. And they essentially say the same thing. And my first thought is, are you getting a lot of messages because you're not fulfilling orders and you're leaving people out of the loop? And the kicker is usually when you pre-order something or you order something and it hasn't shipped yet, you don't get charged until it ships. Well, guess what? That's not what happened here. They immediately took the payment. And I was like, I mean, that's cool if you're going to send it to me soon, but that's not what happens. So I went to another vendor. I paid a little bit more, which is fine. And the item in question is sitting in my home. So worth it. In fact, one part of it got here a whole ass week earlier than I thought it was going to, which was a pleasant surprise. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm sure there are people who do that, but this was not like a small amount of money. It wasn't like a huge amount of money, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like 20 bucks. <laughs> it was, it's quite a bit more than that. But you know, you don't mess with my money. That's, that's an unwise thing to do. So I know I said I wasn't going to talk as much because my jaw hurts but as you can see I'm a liar I'm sure there's a lot of people who just like hold it out and there were a couple of people on the thread who said oh yeah I got my stuff like 10 20 weeks later and I'm like oh no we're not doing that like that's a it's a hard pass I'm also impatient so like when I order something I want it like now and obviously, if it's going to be produced or made or whatever, and you're transparent about the timeline, I can deal with that. But what I can't deal with is when you're not, and I'm thinking, oh, cool. And no, you're just leaving me in the dark. No like. So, yeah, this is, this is an illustration and how long this takes and honestly I'm taking longer than I normally would to do this one because I'm talking which is fine I'm gonna talk whether anybody is here or not uh, entertainment value later but it's late so I'm like concentrating a lot and so I'm moving slower than I would otherwise because let's not completely ruin the design if we can help it which is fine. If I wasn't recording, or at least if I wasn't doing sound, I would totally have something on in the background. I really would. But I uh, am. And so, yes. So that said, I just finished The Haunting of Blind Manor. It was okay. Definitely a gothic romantic situation but just fucking depressing and I watched the fall of the house of usher first 
I have now watched it like half a dozen times. It's really good though. Um, and then I watched The Why. And the funny thing is between The Fall of the House of Usher and The Haunting of Bly Manor and The Haunting of Hill House, they have a lot of the same um, actors and actresses and it's easier, it's, it's interesting to see them in different roles. Anyway, I started Hill House the other day and Jesus, wow, woo, a little rough. I might have ruined it. I might have wiki it. I might have found out a bunch of stuff like, oh, it sucks. So I haven't gotten back to watching it yet. I haven't ruined it enough to like not watch it. But it's going to take some time for me to like not have that information fresh in my brain. Where I don't like start watching it and be like, oh yeah, this is what happens. You know, about something I've not. <sighs> okay, so here's the thing. Um... I have the attention span of a flea unless I'm watching something with someone. If I'm watching it on my own, I am 100% going to zone out like real quick, which is why I usually am like flittering around doing stuff while I'm watching stuff because that's the only way for me not to completely zone out. It doesn't mean I'm going to miss some stuff, but I'm not going to just ignore that it's on. And if I sit down to just watch it, oh yeah, no, that's what's going to happen. And I've learned this because I have sat down to watch many a thing and then realized, do you know what's, what's going on? And I'm like, you know what? I don't, I don't have the damnedest clue. I was like, hmm. Friend keeps getting me, keeps asking me to watch Supernatural and that's why I haven't. Because friend's like, oh, you don't have to, you don't have to pay attention to know what's going on. And I'm just thinking, well, if I don't have to pay attention to know what's going on, why would I bother? I haven't said that, but that's like what's going through my mind. Right? And I don't like to watch things out of order. So like, if I'm going to watch something, I'm going to watch the whole damn thing. <laughs> I'm going to watch in order. Meanwhile, I found a couple of things that I have had to pay lots of attention to while I watch them, like my K-dramas. And that's because subtitles, and let me tell you what, um, I'm halfway through two different ones and I haven't finished either of them, not because they're not good, they're amazing, but I have to sit there and watch them <laughs> and read quickly and I'm not very good at doing that. Well, so I don't mind, I don't mind a big series or several seasons. I like I have all of Bones, I have all of House. Uh, when I can eventually gather the money together, I'm gonna buy all of the CSIs, and like the original CSI, I think it's like 15 seasons. I'm gonna get all of Criminal Minds. Like I'm down for long seasons. Yeah, I keep hearing about that, but I don't know anything about it. But yeah, no, when I was watching Doom at Your Service and Tale of the Nine-Tailed, and they're both excellent. They really are. But, um, yeah, I need to read. And because I need to read, I like, I can't do this because obviously my eyes are on my work, not reading. And so that's why it's taking a minute for me to comment on like anything that's on my screen because I actually have my twitch up I mean or you could do practice practice makes better mm -hmm. I think we're gonna icy hot our face today I think that's gonna happen it's not doing great which sucks because it wasn't even like it was super stressful at work. It was actually a really light day. I think it's school though. Like I finally got my paper graded, which is great. But like that was like harrowing to wait for. Because I was like, oh my god, please don't be trash. Because I didn't need to tank my grade. <laughs> because I've done that before and I know how hard it is to fix it if you do it. It's a nightmare. And then it puts me in 
dress mode the entire rest of the semester. And I don't need that. Yeah, until my big new chair gets here, I am not going to probably actively try to watch Doom at Your Service or anything again, because I'm certainly not going to try to read subtitles on my computer. Like, no, we're not doing that. That'll be too much. And there's no dubs of those. So, I just have to read. Which is fine. I just end up like rewinding like a bunch of it, even though it's totally not like rewinding's not really a thing. Like I just get back a couple of scenes. It's okay. It's okay. So this project time is supposed to be extended, which means instead of going an hour, it's supposed to be longer than that. I don't know if that's gonna happen. can't do it. I can't do it. Now, let me tell you what. There is something that I will watch dubbed because it's freaking hilarious. Um, Kung Fu Hustle dubbed is great. Um, because it makes it so much more ridiculous. That's what, that's what it is. Like, it's funny no matter what, but the, the just slightly off cadence of the movement of people's faces and the sound is it's great oh I haven't watched it in forever I gotta I gotta watch that I gotta watch it it keeps like coming on like streaming services but they only have the original and I don't remember what language it's in but it just it loses something when it's not dubbed. Which sounds ridiculous because dubs are usually, I mean, as far as uh, people, like actual human actors, it it's kind of awful. But I usually don't watch anything dubbed. Now, Diablero is in Spanish and it is excellent. Oh, wow. That's, that's, wow. That's what that is. And so, like I said at the beginning of this row, by the time I get to the end, I have, like, partially memorized the stitch pattern. And it's only taken me, like, almost all the row to do that. That's okay. Yeah, I brought this thing to work with me like over the last two days. I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what nonsense went through my head. And I thought I was going to have like even 20 minutes to work on this. So it goes back and forth on the wrong side and the right side to produce the pattern. Um, so it's like a V. And um, each one, the holes move closer together or farther apart, depending on your orientation, right? So they're really close together at this bottom one, and then they're one over on each side, and then they go all the way out, and then it starts it over again. Yeah. This is, um, this is not what I would call interesting to watch, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't watch me net. But it, um, really, really simple patterns. It'll be the same each row. That's garter stitch. That's if you were just knitting every stitch or purling every stitch on each side. Um, lace is complicated. Hence the millions of paper clips to like put between the lace repeats. So I don't. I don't have to stretch it out to see where I am. Alright, weirdo. Um, yeah, this is the most exciting room. The back side is honestly a lot... I mean, it's quicker, kind of, I guess. 
because I don't have to, I do have to count. Um, but it's like five pearls, two knits, five pearls, and then it just repeats. And the only, hey, you got to pay attention to this part is the very ends, which you got to do that for both sides because it's, it's makes the edging so that it doesn't get funky. Hmm. Let's see. Oh no, not the heartburn. I got free sandwiches from work. So I'm not really counting right now. But I'm only counting to five when I do, so it's not as bad. Like, this is knit two, and then purl two. So I'm only having to count to two, right? Well, I have to count. I just be like, oh, I had to do one, and then I have to do another one. And that's how I'm treating this. So, in other news, I bought 10 day. I think it's 10 Days in a Madhouse by Nellie Bly, which is what the ordeal of Sarah Paulson's character in American Horror Story Asylum is based on. And the premise of Sarah Paulson's like part in that show of how and why is quite a bit different than Nellie's is. Um, I will say that I think the writing is kind of awful. But there's that. Now, uh, to your point, I'm used to a certain level of like noise as far as things that my brain has to manage. And if I don't have enough noise or like things to do, I start to get distracted. And it's got to be like the right kind of noise. And so like talking and thinking and looking at this and glancing back and forth between my knitting <laughs> and the screen is like the right amount of noise for me to function. I'm moving slower than normal, but I'm also trying to make sure I don't jack this up <laughs> because I, I, I'm not going to fix it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, we're not feeling that right now. So, and with lace, if you look at it carefully, oh, you make a mistake, you'll be able to see it. Everybody will be able to see it. And it'll bug me. It is going to be a very light, not frilly, but a light lacy cardigan, which is a type of open sweater that may or may not have buttons. I think this one can have buttons, but we're not going to do buttons because it's silly. And I don't want to. I don't think it's big enough that it would overlap like the other cardigan I made is. I don't know if we're going to get through another, like, we're going to get, we're going to finish this row, obviously. And then we're going to do probably the next one. I don't know. That we're going to make it past that. I think we're going to do two and we're going to call a day. Yeah, I have to do, let's see, 14 repeats and I'm at, when this set is done, I'll be at four. So, uh, I don't know, like a quarter of the way there. Math is hard. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just glad that I'm keeping my hands on camera like it's supposed to be. Now I want to watch American Horror Story again. I don't even know where I can watch that anymore. Ap apparently there's another one. Yeah. Stop depending on me to solve your problems. The, uh, the paper clips, though, is just great. Mm, let's see. This is an even row. And that.
I do at least a pretty good job of keeping my hands on camera where they're supposed to be. That's like a weird pet peeve of mine when somebody's working on camera and they don't pay attention to where their hands are. And so they keep moving off camera and it's like, what are you doing? So the other trick to like doing stuff where you, you don't like want to count actively is, um, this would be the purpose of these markers because I know that a certain amount of stitches exists between them. And so if somehow there are more or less, something went wrong, but also is the fact of learning how to read your knitting. So. These are all purl stitches right here. They have little bumps. And the V's, like the little tiny V's, are the knit stitches, which are these guys right here. So I'm not there yet. So the fact that, despite the fact that I've not been counting, I know it's not time for them yet. And this row will be decidedly quicker. So the thing about knitting is if you jack it up, you can take apart, turn pending on exactly what you did. You can take apart just like this part and basically do surgery. If you mess up crochet, no, you're taking that whole sucker apart. So either you need to accept your mistake <laughs> or you need to work very carefully. And I'm a perfectionist. There's things that I'm fine with having like happy accidents to be all Bob Ross about it in. And then there's stuff that I'm like, no, this needs to look right, damn it. Lace is one of those things that I want to look right because all of your correctness is what's making this pattern come out. And if you have a bunch of mistakes, the pattern is, you're not going to be able to see it and it's going to be yucky. That is everybody. That is a common mistake. And if you're making triangles, there's a simple reason as to why. It's actually a very easy fix. So here's the other thing with crochet. You absolutely have to count. Like you have to. It's not... There's actually a lot of math involved in both of them. A lot more than you'd like. Like, I like doing both things and I'm like, oh god, there's so much math. Um, and the, it's, it's simple math, right? It's very simple arithmetic of counting. And when you shape things, you either are adding or taking away stitches. And you have to do it in an even manner, otherwise it gets all weird and bunchy. So, you know, <laughs> if something isn't shaped right, it's probably because your distribution of stitches is not in the right place. Now, if you're making amigurumi, the second round issue is not as much of a thing as if you're making something flat. It's very evident if you're making something flat, if you jack that up. And what it is, is what, without knowing exactly what you're doing, you're probably messing up your turning chain and not working in the first correct stitch. And so what's happening is the height of that row isn't right. And it's possibly also making a triangle where each row is maybe a little shorter or like lopsided. And that's because you, you started in the wrong place. That's it. That's, that's all that's happened. And that's easy to fix. A M I G U R U M I. Yeah, I have a few books about them. Not a whole lot. I've got one that's like creepy ones. So there's like little monsters, which I thought were fun. Um, I think I might have one that's just cute little animals, because why not? 
as you can see this uh, this row is going a lot faster than the other and it's because the counting is less involved now one of my aspirations is to learn how to do lace surgery a little better or knit surgery a little better um, I don't make so many mistakes that it's incredibly necessary most of the time and maybe if I make one or two I just decided ah, it's fine mm. but oh no not the hurt burn it's trying I got some free sandwiches at work they had to be gussied up when I got home though. They're like, here's a vegetable sandwich. So I had cheese, lettuce, and tomato, and green pepper, of all things, which I thought was a little weird. And that's it. And I was like, this needs more. So I'm like, let's throw some turkey on it. And then we're gonna put some mayonnaise and mustard on it. So it's more interesting than this. And it wasn't that the veggie was bad, it was just like there was nothing to the sandwich. I do have a granola bar in my bag now. Hobie. They're like, it came with it. And I was like, that's cool, I'm not going to eat this right now. They looked at me strange when I said I'll take all three sandwiches. They're like, what? First of all, the sandwiches were like this big. Okay? So I don't want to hear anything. And there was nothing to them. So they need to just chill out. And if you're giving away free food, why are you looking at me strange when I say yes? What? 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 Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm going to do another two rows. Like, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I think that extended project time or not okay I should just work on getting up to an hour so like the first goal was consistently make for like 30 minutes and I think we can do better so we'll consistently work on something for an hour or to the end of whatever we're doing that's as close to the hour so like this is I'm gonna go past an hour not by a whole lot but I've got all of this still left to do But I'm not going to start, like, the next row because, <sighs> because no, that's why I'm shocked that I'm still awake. That's because there's like nothing to it, but you notice how slow I was going on the other side and it's because I had to pay more attention. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get to like the rest of it because I don't know how far up this pattern goes, like from the bus line down to like the bottom half of the cardigan, this is the um, design, but like I don't, I don't know offhand like by like memory what the top looks like Cause actually and you know what I don't think this is the bottom now that I think about it I think this is the top because the green that's on the bottom you're gonna take that out and that's gonna leave all these stitches live which is what these are right these on this these are these loops are workable and you take this out and I think you're putting these together and that's how the sleeves are made but you know I might be making that up it's been a minute since I've looked at the pattern honestly like I did look through it initially when I started which is what you're supposed to it's just like a recipe 
You shouldn't just start cooking. You should look it over and make sure that you have everything you freaking need to include ingredients and hardware. Was it friend made a cheesecake the other day and it was like, I don't know where my spring form pans are. And I'm like, that's a weird thing to lose. I'm like, well, I think I lost them in my move. And I'm like, you didn't check to make sure you had them? And friend was like, no. And I was like, you always check to make sure you have them. What? It's like you check your food before you leave the parking lot of the drive through Unless you're okay with your stuff being wrong. And then if it is wrong, it's your fault. You're just as culpable because you didn't check. That's like a thing ingrained in me by my mother. Always check. And what is it? I like I dated this guy forever ago and he would never check and his mom would never check. And then they would both be mad if the stuff was wrong. And I'm just like, What what is wrong with you? <laughs> like Yes, it would be great if when you ordered something the order was perfect but it's fast food people in are, are in a hurry there's a lot going on there's pressure to hurry up and to like close out orders and you know that's where mistakes are going to be made it's like have you ever played one of those food cooking games like at first the level is easy right you just you just have like a slow steady thing and then all of a sudden you get all these orders piling up and you're like oh crap which reminds me I think I'm gonna play Halloween cooking after this and I can't I can't stream it because I think it has ads and gross but it's like one of those cooking games only it's like Halloween <laughs> themed <laughs> it's so silly I haven't played that game in forever though you know uh, work bestie plays it. I've never played it. I keep seeing it on sale and I'm just like, mm, I don't know about this. Like, I don't know. Cause I don't actually love games like that. I also haven't been playing my switch lately. The bean has had it. I should play my Switch. It, it's, it is, after all, mine. <laughs> so the other reason I haven't been playing it, um, and I certainly haven't been streaming it, is because I have to set up my desk, and I'm not quite done with it. Like, I have my capture card up there, but, like, this thing right here that my, my phone is sitting on while I, um, I know you can't see it, while I'm recording, is supposed to be on my desk, and obviously it's not right now. <sighs> but I also have to clean up my living room because I have a giant chair that's going to be delivered next week, which is awesome. It's got cup holders. I mean, I don't want to be stressed out when I play a game. I gotta be honest with you. But I'm not a team player either, which is such a, such a thing at work. Oh my god. So the co-worker I was working with, we were working somewhere where... You can work by yourself or you can work in teams and they were like really team oriented like hey let's work together and I'm just thinking to myself I don't like working together like I want to do my work and you can do your work and if you need help or I need help that's fine but I don't want this to be a cooperative effort the whole time because ew gross. Now if I'm super chill with you and like we work together seamlessly that's fine. But, uh, no. Because I'm confident in my ability to do my job. I don't need your fucking help. That wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. And I do things a certain way, and I do them in a certain order to ensure that I do them correctly. And, like, having somebody interject is not. Yeah, so we're at like a little over an hour. 
We are totally not going to do more than this. <sighs> like, I could do two more. Maybe I will. I don't know. If I do two more, it'll put me at two hours, which will be maybe worth watching. I, don't, like, I really don't think any of this is worth watching, honestly. Um, but it'll finish the repeat. That is worth doing. And then I'll, I'll feel like I have something to show, but like, this is like, so this is the thickness of like one rose, that right there. It's so small, you can't see. Yeah, I mean, and this isn't even, it's not even necessarily group work, right? Group work is like a whole thing, but even just working with another person is like, no. No. And I get it. Some people can't work together, which is fine, okay? But like, if you need to function a certain way, and the person that you're working with cannot gel with that, it's not a good fit. It's going to be a problem. It's just, it's that let's not stress ourselves out like this. Unnecessary. But like, I'm not a team player. And some of the tasks that I work on, they're like, oh yeah, we're a team. And I'm like, are we though? Do we need to be a team? Like in the strictest sense of everybody's got their hands in the pot at the same time because I don't think so and then sometimes that turns into noise like yeah so this is a great analogy music is a fantastic analogy like sometimes you have a bunch of voices and it's musical and it's lyrical and it's harmonious and melodic and wonderful and sometimes it's just fucking noise <laughs> And that's, that's the big difference between people who can work together and people who can't. It just sounds like noise. Yeah. I mean, there's something to be said for standardization. Standardization means you can hand things off. And it streamlines things because it's not MacGyvering things. Um... And that, like, makes it easier on, like, the group as a whole. But, you know, there be that. My feet are getting angry. I need to move, which means I'm going to finish it. We are not going to do two more. Because... I don't... Because I don't want to. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Magic bananas. I don't know what this is. There's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. It's trying to do a weird thing. So now, oh, we have got to fix this. So what happened here is something got snagged, which may have been noticed. Oh my god. Oh, cheese and crackers. So hold on, I am. Something got snagged and in my first row. Alright, maybe I'll maybe I'll move my leg. Dear God. <sighs> yeah, that's another thing. I have a tendency to sit like really still. And it's fine until I go to move my leg. And then it's like, oh no. Alright, we're going to try to finish this up because why not? 
and it'll feel like I actually did something. So this is going to be about two hours probably. Just an odd row. And here comes the counting. This might be the other row that's fairly quick because I think this the pattern for this one is pretty easy. I haven't played Sturdy Valley in forever. I feel like I haven't played Ever Emerge in forever and that's not true. I think I played it last week. I've been playing Love and Pies a lot, which is also not something that I play because it's got ads sometimes. Um, so I don't play it here. I've been playing it at work when I have time. <laughs> it's terrible. Usually on my lunch break. Or like between tasks because it's one of those things where you have to wait for refreshes on certain actions. Is that rebuff? Is that is that what the is that what the gamers call it? Um, I did, but it feels like it's been forever. I played for a really long time, like sometime in the last two weeks. Like I didn't realize I played for that long. It's like holy crap! Like oh my god. Hmm. I got this song playing in my head. This is the worst. That sounds like a silly game. Yeah, I go through spurts of playing Love and Pies because, like, there's actually this whole story that's like going on. It's like this weird little. It's like, it's not a mystery game, but it's like a merge game, but like this whole storyline that's going on in the background, and I've gotten to the point where I completely ignore all of the story, and just go tap, 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 tap to get through it. So like, what's going on, I, I've got no idea. I just know that I'm trying to make a burger basket, and it's like one of the higher level things to do and you've only got so many rebuffs on these things so so <laughs> love and pies it's cute I, apparently I like merge games I like things like bejeweled I like matching games I don't like the bubble games so much I know I know that I don't like the bubble games I will play them but it's like my least favorite game. I'm a matchy switchy. I don't like Candy Crush that much. I've played it and just it's fine. This mm. give me regular old bejeweled, honestly. In my archives, on my um, it's not in my archives, but in one of like in some of my early early ones when I was figuring out, 
um, figuring out streaming from my computer because I can play there's was it pet rescue saga there is a version of it that you can play on the computer and so there's a video on my YouTube channel my gaming channel where I was playing pet rescue saga it's just hilarious it's so silly like you're popping like balloons and whenever a bunch of balloons of one color get next to each other, you can like pop a whole bunch and then you can like free the little animals. It's so freaking weird. I like Farm Hero Saga. It works the same way. Um, like the little, little vegetables have cute little chibi faces on them. And they go like, woohoo! And it's like, what? It's like y'all are excited. And they're like, we are! I'm like, okay guys. It's fine. I've got a short attention span for gaming, to be perfectly honest. That's why I'm a variety streamer, because don't count on me focusing on anything for too long, because I will, like, just get bored with it and I'll need change I'm trying not to pull the stitch off the damn needle and it's like I'm gonna be a butthead like stop you're a bitch I can't even play for 45 minutes. That's a big ask. Like, the bean has played my Switch more than I have. I need to play Strange Horticulture. It's been a minute since I played that. And I've, like, learned some things about the gameplay that I just... It took me forever to pick up on. And so it'll make my gameplay a lot easier now. Maybe I'll die less often. I don't know. <laughs> Like, for some reason, I couldn't figure out how to use the labels. Do you know how ridiculous that is? It's silly. Like, I saw the labels. I just couldn't figure out how to use them. Yeah, yeah. Like, in the little drawer, right, there's a, there's a, those little labels. And I could not figure out how to use them. I saw them, and I was like, I guess these are for later. And so I have a bunch of plants that... I've identified, but have no labels on. And I'm like, crap. <sighs> Good job. I think I labeled like one. Because I couldn't figure out how to use them. And I'm the, I'm the person who's, I'm not, I'm not going to go through a tutorial. Or, nope, I'm just going to, we're just going to wing it. It's going to be fine. So I was looking through everything because like there's a drawer that's not immediately obvious. There's just like a little tiny handle. And if you hit it, like boom, drawer. And I'm like, oh man, look at that. And then on the workspace, there's a bunch of stuff under stuff. So if you close the map and you close the book and you close these other things, you move them around. There's stuff underneath it that you only are going to find if you move stuff. And I figured all that stuff out. Frequently. And I'll tell you why I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out because I like to order things and make them neat. And I was moving stuff around on the desk. I was like, this is a mess. I don't like it. And I was like, oh, look at this. Hence why, if you ever watch me play Evermerge, what am I doing? I'm constantly arranging my game board because I'm weirdo it makes it easier for me to like make my matches and make big ones and like cycle through the um the things though 
I feel like I made a mistake in deciding that I was going to do the rest of this repeat. So, you see one, two, three, we're on the fourth one. Oh my gosh. But now I'm committed. Like, you can't mm. stop in the middle of a row. Unwise. It'll be a bad time. Uh oh, friend's trying to text me. Oh. Yeah, so his friend sprained their ankle, went to their local hospital, and got crappy care. And I was like, I mean, you know how the care is over there. Why are you shocked? And their comment was, I'm tired of it. And I'm just thinking, I mean, yeah, no, that is fair. However, if you stay there, you are going to have to deal with that. If you don't want to deal with it, you're going to have to move. Yeah. Like, there's no way around it. Like, you're not going to change the quality of care around there. It's not going to happen. itchy and, and like there's places because they live in the mountains there's like another place that sometimes that's where they send them and it's like an hour away and friends comment is that's too far and I'm just thinking yeah that's your option now like I hesitate to say this because I, I don't know that friend will ever watch this and I do not want to hurt friend's feelings, but I think that they, them getting a house in that area was not a good idea because now they're kind of trapped and I don't know if they figured that out yet. And like, can, can you sell your house? Sure. But that house needs a lot of work. And while all the work is, like, totally doable, it's not, like, the kind of work where the work it needs to be done is burnt to the ground because <laughs> it's trash. It's not like that. But it's extensive, expensive work, and that's probably why that house was available because whoever was living there probably got to the point where they're like, this isn't worth it or I can't afford this. I'm dipping. And as a first-time homeowner, there's things that you're not going to realize that maybe you should ask and... So there's, there's little pitfalls that you miss and that it's, you know, honest mistake. It's not, it's not any kind of criticism or judgment. There's no reason for you to know things like this. If you've never done this before, fine. And you don't know anybody who's done this before and you're not consulting with anybody who's done this, then you're, you're not even getting a leg up on, Hey, maybe make sure you ask about this. Right. And sometimes, like with a car, people will fix things up just enough for them to pass inspection. Just enough for it to get sold. But it's not a real fix, right? And so when it starts getting lived in, whatever that fix was, which was actually a band-aid, comes loose. And then, oh crap, there's a thing that you didn't realize that you have to deal with. And you know people are not going to be up front. Not when they're trying to get rid of something. Which, sure, that's not nice, but also that's, that's like a thing. It's not a weird thing. It's a thing. It's not a great thing. It's actually a horrible thing. But it's a, it's, this is not like new. Now, like I said, um, I, I personally think that they're trapped. Like, I was like, you don't want to retire from the job you're at, right? Like, you, you want to go on and do stuff and do do more and be better you're not going to be able to do it there because the resources and the opportunities there are limited and they're like hanging on to the this position they took that it makes more money but this is a more money more problems situation <laughs> they made more money but now the health insurance is higher they made more money but their taxes are higher
Well, and, and, and even with a car, it's not necessarily that. Like, your car can fail inspection because your headlights are pointed in the wrong direction. You know that's an easy fix. That's an easy fix. Like, they could just fix that and pass it instead of failing it. Right. They could just adjust that. They could. Um... And obviously it's your car, you you know, you get to make the decisions and maybe you don't want to do certain things, right? But at the same time, for them to for them to fail you for something that could be fixed in a matter of minutes is a little shysty. So here's the here's the thing with that. I don't know I don't know how many times you've gotten your car inspected. Car inspections are like twenty five dollars. When they fail you, you don't get charged another $25 to reinspect it. They fail at you and they charge you another dollar. That's how that works. So you're not like inspections don't make people money. Like you have to have a lot of knowledge and you have to be really accomplished as a mechanic to do inspections. Like not just anybody can do them, but you're not making shit do with them. You make money doing the actual work. So doing brakes, doing rotors, having to fix the tires. Like that's how you're making your money in that situation. And those are things that, you know, you will, you will have to do periodically anyway. And if you're taking care of your car, those things will happen when they're supposed to happen versus, oh, maybe sooner than they should, right? But, um, yeah, it's not, you don't like most inspectors are kind of gripey and the only, like the, the shop I worked at, the guy who's an inspector, his name was Don and Don would bitch about inspections and doing them because he made no money doing them. The money you make is recommending work, but you can't make somebody get work done. They can always decline it. And a lot of people do. Or if they can put it off, they will. Like, oh, you don't need tires now, but you are going to need them in a couple months. And they'll say, cool, not doing it today. And that's money that you don't get. Yeah. And like... Wipers will fail you. That's a that's an easy fix. Your wipers fail you because they're old and they need to be replaced and then you can do that yourself, right? No bigs. Easy, 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 easy. Um, but some people don't want to do it, which is fine. But that's, that's the thing, right? Some people don't want to do it. Some people don't feel confident in their ability to do it. Some people don't have time to do it. Like, I know how to change a tire. I promise you I'm not going to do it, though. <laughs> Why? Because I don't fucking want to. Because I know what it's like to change a tire, and it's a pain in the ass. And I don't mean take a tire off your car, anybody who's listening. No, I mean take the tire off the wheel, put a new one on there, inflate it, balance it, and remount it. It's a lot of work. And every time I say, they're like, oh, it's not hard to change a tire. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I am not talking about taking a tire off a car and putting a new one on there. I'm talking about the whole ass process. It's a lot more than that. And can you get a tire off of a wheel without a tire machine? Yes, but it is extremely difficult and you still need certain tools to do it. You can't just pry that sucker off. That's not how that works. Yeah, I had an ex-boyfriend who worked on cars, and he replaced a tire for me. And um, I think actually he replaced all of them. And it was a, it's it's a whole like I sat there watching him do it. It's a whole ass thing. And ill-advised. Like, don't do it. Don't do it if you don't have to. But it's totally worth paying somebody to do.
I wouldn't even do it if I had access to a tire machine because no, the amount of times I almost smacked myself in the face with a pry bar because even when you have the stuff you need, taking tires off of wheels, depending on the actual structure of the tire, is a pain in the ass. Because some tires, like certain brands, like it's a good tire, right? Well, part of why it's a good tire is because it's durable and the sidewall is thick. Well, the sidewall being thick means it's awful to get off the wheel. And like truck tires, oh my god. I have so much hatred for people who drive trucks and have giant ass tires. Because having to pick up a 17 and put it on a truck. Fuck you very much. That's that's what I have to say about that. <laughs> no thanks. And like we hated doing tires in the shop. Like truck tires. Truck tires were the worst. Because they're fucking huge. They're huge. And they're heavy. And like you're picking this stuff up by hand. There's there's not. there's You're not using a dolly or a weight or a winch. No, no. You're picking this sucker up by hand. I'm like, I have a bad hip and a bad shoulder. So that was fun. I actually got stuck under a couple tires that way. That was loads of fun because my hip would seize up and I couldn't move it. And so whatever position I was sitting in, yeah, I was stuck there. I had to yell across the shop a couple of times like, Jay, get over here. And he's like, what? I'm like, get over here. <laughs> get this tire off my lap. I can't move. That was, that's, that's, that's work I don't miss. And wife, wife still works at a car shop. And wife is always ranting about how lazy the guys that she works with are. And I'm just like, yep, that's a thing. They have a, we'll hire anybody kind of mentality though. And that's part of, that's part of the problem right there. Is that because they'll hire anybody, they're not vetting people very well. So you're getting people who are, you know, not going to show up or not going to do the work or going to want to leave early or going to want to be late. And that's, I mean, if you don't vet your candidates better, that's what you get stuck with. And it's not her fault. Like This is a company policy. I feel like when they bought it out, like, I think I got out when the kit was good because since they've been bought out, everything has been so much worse, it sounds like. Like, I think there was some, like, change in the pay that, depending on where you were, wasn't great for you. That reminds me, I should text Jay and see how he is. I haven't talked to him in forever. She texts Leon and see how he is. This last time I talked to him, he was not working at the shop he was at anymore. And I don't know what he was planning on doing. I did talk to him at some point. I just don't know when. See, there I go, near the end. Finally have, like, memorized the pattern when I'm about to change the way I'm doing it. Oh, no, itchy. I don't like it. Thanks, Adelaide. Appreciate it. She's like, okay, Mom, that's great. You want me to do it again? I don't. She's doing Bisto. Hmm? I wish I had some fruit and I don't and I'm sad. And if that wasn't a rhetorical question as far as how they charge you, they charge you for the inspection because the inspection is a service. But the inspection cost is still not the cost of the actual work. 
And if that was rhetorical, never mind. I didn't say anything. I'm just glad that that shop took that tire off for me. Because I... It was not looking good. I was ready to get a hacksaw and saw that sucker off. Which would have been a lot of work. And unpleasant. Meanwhile... Still haven't gotten to the scrap metal yard. Only slightly. Oh my gosh. At least tomorrow is Friday. And I... I gotta go work somewhere that's gonna keep me busy. But hopefully it's not gonna be whoa. But I don't know exactly what I'm going to do when I get there. It's going to be a long day just because it's going to be a long day. I haven't been to this location in a hot minute. So I'm hoping it's not awful. But I guess we're going to find out. I might start from, I might, I think I'm going to start watching, or trying to start watching more other streamers. I've caught a few people starting streams, but not been able to stay because I've, you know, had something else to do. And I follow a bunch of cozy people. Uno mas. Oh my gosh. And as we know, this will be a lot quicker. Because I don't have to think about it. And then we will officially be at four repeats. Oh yeah, dancing dino. I do have some tea next to me. I might hit the sweet spot, but it's not really what I'm looking for. I want some fruit, but it's like almost 10 o'clock. It's not fruit o'clock, and I haven't gotten any more fruit since I finished my box of grapes, which is like the silliest thing I've ever seen. It was an excellent purchase, though. Like, who needs three pounds of grapes? I do. I don't even know where I was that I got them. Hmm. So I saw that the oatmeal is making another game. And it's a game about intrusive thoughts. <laughs> and it... Uh, it looks delightfully horrifying. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, like, big on grapes, but these were actually really good. And I usually like red grapes, and these were green, and it totally worked out. They were also ginormous. Like, the green grapes in a bag are usually, like, a lot smaller, and these were, like, twice the size of, like, those grapes. So it really felt like I was like actually eating something substantial just because it was so much so much grape I feel like I have better luck with grapes than like other soft fruits like berries 
I think I do okay with the blueberries. Blackberries are really touch and go. Raspberries are mmm. And strawberries, maybe a step below raspberries. I don't do a good job of picking them. I'm pretty good with my cherries, though. I wish it was cherry season. It's not. I'm sad. Meanwhile, I've had so many bananas lately. I love the big blueberries. They're gr they're awesome. They're not as sweet, and I'm totally fine with that. I get the jumbos when I can. Yeah, no, I like those. Those are my favorite. Like, the little ones are fine, but I really, really like the larger blueberries. And I'll just eat the whole freaking box. It's like 10 ounces almost, and I'm like, this is mine, thank you. It's like a blueberry snack. Ooh, I don't have fruit, but I do have a tomato. I should not eat the tomato, though. The tomato is for the sandwich or the salad. Also, eating something that is acidic is not a good idea when my heartburn is already acting up. Yeah, there's actually a f berry farm up here that I know people go picking at. And where I lived way back home when I was small, we had a strawberry picking place like literally up the street from us. And that was a thing that we did. I, think, I don't think I've ever gone to pluck, uh, blueberries, just strawberries. So I thought about starting the Magnus Archives again because I forgot where I was and I haven't gotten around to finishing it and it's been so long that I could probably start over. I've been listening to 10 Days in a Madhouse, which I bought on sale on Chirp. And let me tell you what, the idea is interesting but it's not even the narration it's the writing itself it's kind of awful it's a little painful to listen to because it just it's so hard to believe like a person wrote this really like i guess so like the narration is fine like but you're narrating crap so it sounds like it and I don't know when this, I don't, I don't recall when the story was originally written. So like, you know, if I'm, my modern sensibilities, although modern actually is a greater expanse of time than people realize, but my, what do you call it? There's another word I want to use. My contemporary sensibilities do not sit well with the quality of writing because it's just bad no see that that is it's well written it's well narrated everything about it is great this is just it's just I don't know I don't, I don't know how to say it but it's it's not it's not great and the thing with it is, is the story, like, I want to know what happens, so I'm going to listen to it, but the, luckily the book itself is actually really short. I think it was like a total of like four to six hours, which as far as the books that I listen to, most of the books I listen to are like 12 to 15 hours. So that tells you how short this book is. Yeah, I think where I was in the Magnus Archives, the archivist 
has met up with the like doll person thing like and battled them like in the basement right um and the was it the lonely has taken over martin and that's been a it's been a minute and like every now and then you get to hear from martin and so you get like an inside view of like why he's making these choices and stuff like this um but like nobody else because of the lonely right knows what's going on with martin <sighs> like i think it is like i don't think i had that many left but i can't recall exactly where i was Um, I know the, the, uh, was like one of the episodes is about the buried. That one's really good where it's like the two siblings, the two sisters and one of them leaves the other one. That was, that was pretty great. Like, whew. Um, I think all the ones with the, I can't recall what it is, but it's the like, I forget what the name of it is, but it's the one where it's like the uncanny valley where it it's it's like a doll like it's a humanoid thing that's not human yeah like that all the storyline with that one is like ah <laughs> it's great though the sky one was weird it was so weird now so not that it ruins it, but, like, if you want more detail or to fill in the blanks, they have a wiki where it's, it, like, clarifies some things that are not exactly clear. And okay, I don't know how long this is going to last, by the way. Um... Sorry, my, my thing overheated and it's like, I can't do all of this again. So sorry. What I'm going to do is this is instead of, instead of like, what do you call it? Um, instead of importing this to... YouTube directly from Twitch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download both of them, splice them together, and then upload the entire video as one. I don't like part ones and part twos if I don't have to have them. And like, I still have a nice amount. And it's not, it's not that much, but it's, you know. It's at least a couple minutes worth, and I didn't want to stop knitting because you don't you don't stop knitting in the middle of a row. It's bad form. Also, it'll mess up your knitting really bad if you do that. I'm sure part of why my, my camera got mad is because I had multi-screen on and uh, it was overheating. Whoops. Which is what it said. It was like, we can't do multi-windows. It's too much work. I'm like, okay. But. Yeah, and anybody who hasn't watched the Magnus Archives, sorry about anything, any spoilers. I don't know that I gave away enough to ruin it, like, for real, for real. But, um, there is a wiki, and I don't feel like reading through and getting the details really ruins it. Because there's just so much. And, like, the storyline, I don't know, I don't think linear is right. But there's, like, a bunch of different stories and characters like who have story arcs that are going on all at the same time and it doesn't like you know spend a certain amount of episodes necessarily on any one storyline 
right? So they like overlap and intermingle. And sometimes it walks away from them, like, or you, you go and focus on something. And sometimes that's not what happens. And you go, look at this, and now we're going to look at this. And then sometimes stuff is not obvious. And then it is. I'm almost done. That's what I get for not charging my phone ahead of time. I know better. I really do. I have class on Saturday. It's going to suck. Because I'm not ready. And I got my, my midterm is coming up. <laughs> and I'm not ready. Like I thought about doing my midterm tonight and I was like no you're not going to do that and I was like no that's correct I am definitely not going to do that technically I don't even know when it's open and I really would like to take the chance to like review some stuff <laughs> and look over the study guide before I try to take the midterm because I don't think I'm going to do very well with it I don't know how long the midterm is. I actually tried to look today and I was like, I don't know how many questions there are. And I'm super behind on my reading. But the midterm is due. Um, you know, it's due the 15th and I can't think of what day that is off the top of my head. Yeah, let's go look. It's due on Tuesday. Be a weird day for it to be due on, but not and not that these next couple of days is enough for me to catch up on reading when I've got all these other things to do. It's not. I'm trying to think of even if I've like finished a single chapter, and I don't think I have. That's terrible of me. I'm trying to be a better student. It's not working out might have something to do with the fact that I'm doing too much. Maybe. Oh snap. We're down to the home stretch. so close. Not close enough to take pictures, but so close. Yeah, I gotta do all the repeats before I would bother taking another picture so you, I would actually have something to show. Here we go, final stretch. It's an even row. All right, so Bye, George. We've done it. I gotta go. Like, I gotta hop off here, like, real quick because, um, I don't know.
that's what we're looking at. Um, I gotta hop off here real quick because I gotta stop my timer. Because I'm officially not knitting and I don't want to keep time. And when I switch windows, it's gonna cut this off. So, thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Everybody who watched and chatted. And anybody who watches the replay, appreciate you. And I will see y'all later.